everybody, it's Middle, and uh, it's the end of the year, and I kind of want to do my uh, top 12 most valuable pops I have in my collection right now. Now, I've only been collecting for three or four months, so I really don't have all that great stuff right now. But I uh, kind of want to see where I'm at uh, a year from now, so kind of compare where I'm at now compared to what a year to now. Don't know how many of these are we on my uh, top 12 list next year, so let's get started. Um, I am putting together, uh, I'm trying to put together the, all the Stormtrooper set and the Guard set from Star Wars. So this, uh, I got like seven of them right now, but this is one of the more valuable ones I have is the 44 second Clone Trooper from the 2017 Galactic Convention, and this comes in at $30. So it'll be it's fun putting this set together. Now, um, at first I was buying some off eBay, but now I'm pretty much, I just want to do uh, mostly in person. So I'm going to stores and hopefully hit a toy store, uh, toy show once or twice this coming year. Um, I, I'd rather do the chase and then just shop it on eBay. So I'm just going to be a slow collection build up. So that's why I don't have all that most valuable ones right now. But uh, that guy comes in at number 12. All right, number 11. One of my favorite games, Plants vs. Zombies. This is Conehead Zombie. Um, all these series are pretty expensive. Um, there's a metallic disco zombie that's $200. I like to put this set together. And um, this one comes in at $31. Pretty nice pickup at a local store. All right, coming in at number 10. You guys might have remembered this one. I just pulled this in November in my mystery video there. This Monica Geller Frizzy Hair Chase. And this is the only chase that makes the list. Um, this comes in at $31 also. It's pretty cool. I'm going to keep this one in my collection. And uh, it's fun picking up chases when I can. Now coming in number 9 is this Franklin Jr. and the Possibles. Now I found this locally. I got a, uh, this one comes in at $36. As you can see it's a Gemini exclusive. Uh, I really didn't know much about this. This is one of the first ones I picked up. Um, but this is also my lowest uh, print run one. There's only 480 of these total. So it's a pretty good little pickup. It's not worth that much, but you don't see that many come on eBay. So actually it might be worth more than what the price shows at $36. All right, moving down to number eight, Dr. Harleen, a Walmart exclusive. This is from a... Um, 2016 and I think they just made another Dr. Harleen but uh, this one's doing pretty well at $36 it's pretty cool pop and there's all the Suicide Squad in the back so um, I picked this one up locally also a little uh, second time shop so it's pretty cool and I can find them ones I like all right this is my newest pickup at number seven $41. I really don't know much about Death Note. Um, this is a Hot Top exclusive, but uh, I got this for $30, and I thought the pop was pretty sweet looking, so I had to pick this one up. So Good price. Pretty cool looking pop. And L with Kate comes in at number 7. Alright, number 6 is my most expensive um, Stormtrooper, Captain Rex. Uh, Captain Rex comes at $42. I can see this was just a fall uh, convention exclusive. So I was pretty happy to snag one of those. There's the back. So that guy, Captain Rex, comes in number six. Now hitting the top five. This was at a second time store. Got it for a really good price. Just starting going up in price. This is General Grievous. Now he has two lightsabers. He's pretty sweet looking. This is a Walgreens exclusive. And Grievous comes in at $60. I think I paid $40 for it, so nice little pickup, and it's actually in really good shape. So pretty happy it was that one. All right, moving on to number four, Ramona Flowers. Um, I am trying to put this set together. I think this is going to be a very hard set, very long set to put together because there's a lot of short print. But this Ramona Flowers comes in at $62, 2016 pop. I have... Uh, Two, two of the Scots, and then I have knives, so I still have several several more to go on this set. Pretty cool looking pop, though. All right, number three, top three. Now, this one I did buy on eBay when I first started because I love Kill Bill, so I had to have the bride. This pop comes in at $69, and uh, the, it's pretty expensive pops. So, um, the most expensive is a Go-Go Bleeding Eyes is right around $100, so... This is a set I would love to put together. I have not seen any of the other pops locally, so I'm keep on waiting. But uh, maybe I can find them at a toy show. Go from there. 
All right, number two pop. I got this one for a pretty good price. I think $70. Comes in at $89 value. This is Winter Soldier. Again, this was a local local second time pop pickup, 2014. So a little bit of order one. So it's very cool. So let's look up my most expensive pop. And this one's actually pretty funny because I picked this up before I was even collecting pops several years ago. This is Grey Wind from Games of Throne. Um, I actually got this in a, a loot uh, loot crate box for like 20 bucks. And this guy comes in at $150. Um, this was a 7-Eleven exclusive. So I guess they're very hard to find. So it's pretty funny that uh, I had this for several years. And then when I started collecting pops, I kind of looked up and went, wow, that's worth $150. Pretty cool. So again, that's my top 12 most valuable pops. Can't wait for this next year, 2019. Hopefully I can pick up some really nice ones. Um, pretty much only going to pick them up mystery boxes. Um, I do buy some from the Funko pop-up shop. And then just local hunting, walk around looking for them. So should be a great year. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll catch you next time.